In this video, we'll look at portfolio construction using R. We'll first read in prices and we'll create efficient frontiers and show how to display the returns, the allocation, and then we'll do a comparison of two different portfolios with two different sets of constraints. We first start by copying the code and pasting it into R. What this will do is this will download stock price histories for five different technology stocks. Once we've downloaded the data, we'll then calculate the efficient frontier. So we copy and paste the commands, and then what, uh, after it's calculated the efficient frontier, it'll plot the risk return space, which is there. Next thing we want to do is you want to look at some key points within the efficient frontier. So for instance, we want to look at the sharp ratio, the, the tangent line, We can also do this interactively. And first of all, we plotted the efficient frontier with selection number one. This is the minimum variance portfolio. And then lastly, we plotted out three stocks in terms of their, where they sit on the risk return space. And then we can use zero to exit out. Next, we want to take a look at what the inputs were to the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to print out what the mean returns were for the five stocks and what the covariance matrix was. One of the things we want to do is we want to also convert from daily returns and risk to annualized numbers. And so the following code that we're cutting and pasting We'll do this. Next, we want to look at what the sharp ratios were for each one of the points on the efficient frontier. If you remember previously, one of the points in the upper right was the maximum sharp point where the tangency line was. So first of all, we create a new page so we don't overwrite the previous plot. We plot it up, and one of the higher points on the upper right of the efficient frontier is also the highest point with the sharp ratio. And then finally, what we want to do is you want to calc you want to graphically display what the allocation for each of the 50 points. So we start on the lower point and go to the the upper right point and it shows you what the various allocations are. And we can also print these, print out what the allocation was for each of the 50 points. And we can also print out what the, uh, what the risk and return was. And then we can scroll through this. One other thing that, we, that also is useful is for us to be able to write these data out. So in this case, I've taken the allocation and I wanted to write that out to a CSV file that we can import into Excel. So do write CSV, give it the name of the variable and the file name. And then I want to make, want to know where the file is actually stored. So I use the get WD command to tell me what directory is the one where I've stored the CSV file. So that completes doing the creating the efficient frontier. Next, what we want to do is you want to do a comparison of the efficient frontier for the current current portfolio, which is a long only, so it's zero to one hundred percent, versus some alternatives. So 
we have align constraints, which says that we now can alloc have allocations down to minus 100% for each one of the stocks. So we copy this code, which calculates the new efficient frontier with the constraint, zero minus, minus one to plus one, versus the original, which appears in the blue. So the red is the, the, the one that allows long and short positions. The blue is long only. We can also try other types of constraints. So the one example here says that every stock much says have at least 10% of the portfolio, but can have a maximum of 60%. So we copy that constraint, paste it in, then we copy the same code we have before except for that first line, which has the constraint. And then we paste. And the blue is the original long only portfolio. The red shows the portfolio that's restricted to 10% to 60%. To show this graphically, we go back and copy our code to print out graphically what the allocation looked like and this is what it looks like. You notice that everything, each one of the five stocks is at least 10% allocation. And also we, we can also print out the matrix showing what the allocation was for each of the points on the efficient frontier. And that's the original efficient frontier. That's the new, alloc new allocation across the frontier. To do a comparison of how the 10% to 60% allocation compares to the long only allocation. We first of all recreate the long only portfolio by copying the code, pasting it in. So now we've created the original long only portfolio. And now we copy the, the code that produces the bar chart showing what the allocation was. We print that out. Oh, first of all, we use dev new to create a new window. And then we plot the long only allocation in the new window. And then we can move the windows apart to see how the, the allocation is different. The uh, original long only on the left, the 10% on the right, 